Halloween is, of course, right around the corner, and today we bring you a mystery that involves talks of witchcraft and a haunted house. It all starts when the Jameson family disappears and police find some very odd messages written on their property. Our Reed Grinsell takes us to the scene in southeastern Oklahoma. A family of three mysteriously vanishes into thin mountain air. Their beliefs were a little un unorthodox. And the circumstances surrounding the puzzling disappearance of Bobby, Sherilyn, and six-year-old Madison Jameson just before Halloween scares their family. She knew things about witchcraft. Sherilyn and Bobby believed that uh, there were spirits in, in their house, and it frightened them. But could their haunted house actually have scared the Jamesons to death? Sherilyn Jameson was known to dabble in the world of the supernatural. On a container near her home, she scrawled graffiti about witches and black cats. She did tell me that one time she had cast uh, demons out of someone. When she couldn't cast out the spirits inhabiting the family's house in the little town of Eufaula, Oklahoma, Sherilyn's mother, Connie, says the family decided to move. Sherilyn told me that they had plans to buy a piece of land in the mountains. Now the remote San Boys Mountains, about 30 miles away, hold all the dark secrets. It's where the couple was heading with their young daughter the day they disappeared. They didn't want to be around a lot of people. I think they just needed solitude. But when relatives discovered they hadn't returned after four days, they started to panic. All I could think of is what happened to him, what happened to him. Sherilyn's mother immediately feared the worst. When I first heard the news that morning, um, I felt in my heart that Sherilyn and Bobby and Madison had been killed. Former Latimer County Sheriff Israel Beecham was optimistic the Jamesons would be found alive. I didn't want to overreact, so I just assumed they were camping, maybe they were lost. But after seven days and counting, nagging suspicion became a resounding alarm. Then on the eighth day, a distressing discovery. The Jamesons' truck is found by a local hunter with the family dog alive and trapped inside. I can't imagine him leaving her in the car at all. Leaving their coats in the car, their phones, the GPS, the cameras. It just doesn't make any sense why they would just get up and walk up the mountain without anything. After finding the abandoned truck, Sheriff Beecham ramped up the search for the family. The search efforts is one of the largest Oklahoma's ever had before. We had a thousand volunteers, over 13 dog teams. We used a plane, UAVs, helicopters. The hunt for the Jameson family intensified and the mystery grew after deputies combed through their truck and found disturbing clues hidden inside. Angry letters. A cell phone photo of Madison taken the day the family disappeared. Empty pill bottles. And $32,000 in cash. The money was in a Ziploc bag inside the bank bag. And he had buried it down underneath all of these tools. And he didn't expect anybody to find it. The large amount of cash fueled speculation that illegal drug activity was responsible for the family's disappearance. We know that they were on prescription pills, and when we say drugs, that does not mean that it was methamphetamine, marijuana, cocaine. It could have been just prescription pills. Empty pill bottles were found in the truck, but no other evidence of drugs was found in their home or car. Bobby took pain pills for back injuries. Also in the truck, investigators found disturbing letters. I will say that there was problems. That, in the very beginning, gave us a lot of concern. Sherilyn's own handwritten notes revealed she was frustrated with her husband. I would not wish my daughter to be raised in foster care because of you being in prison for attempted murder and her mother dead. The cops wondered if she had the motive to want him dead. They did have some disagreements on things, but you know, all marriages do. I don't think she meant all those things. Perhaps Sherilyn or someone she was involved with made the family disappear. They were just uh, abnormal individuals. You know, uh, we couldn't get rid of the idea that, hey, you know, maybe they just didn't want to be found. 
Did the Jamesons simply go off the grid and start a new life, leaving their beloved dog and a large amount of cash behind? Or did someone want to erase any trace of the Jameson family? I do think that they must have seen something they shouldn't have seen because nothing else makes sense. Coming up next, cops find leads that point them to only one conclusion.